Hey y'all, this is Amanda, she's Mad Gardener, and I am out here on a hot afternoon and I am about to harvest some different types of seeds. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to harvest zinnia and celosia seeds, and I'm gonna show you how I store them. As always, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell when you know when my latest videos are up and give me a thumbs up and or leave me a comment. Every time you guys do that, that really helps build my channel and helps me bring you guys more creative content. Okay, so today I'm going to be harvesting zinnia and celosia seeds. I have a lot of zinnias going right now. I have a lot of celosia going. And so it is super simple. I want to show you guys how I go about it. I start with a basket, any old basket that you have. This just happens to be one of my favorites because it's real shallow. So I really love that. And then I add in a paper towel into it. And that is how I get started. So let me show you the next steps. Okay, for harvesting zinnias, you have to harvest zinnia seeds at the right time. When a flower looks beautiful like this and you wanna cut it off and put it in an arrangement, this is not the right time to harvest seeds, okay? Anytime you, this is what your zinnias look like, they are much too um, fresh and the seeds are not ripe and ready to go. However, we are looking for zinnias like this. And this are these are the moments when you know that zinnias are ready to harvest. So this bloom right here, this guy right here, you see how they're kind of older, drying up? These are the blooms that we're going to want. All right, Let's see if I've got any more. Even as far as some of these, this might've already dropped some of its um, seeds, this kind of stuff, see how dry these are? That's what we want. So if they look new and fresh like this, that's a no for harvesting. If they are old and dried up like this, that is good to go. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim all of these flowers off into my little basket. Okay, now we're over here on our celosia. I have a wide variety of celosia growing in here. It's looking really good, beautiful. But what I am looking for is I'm looking for older celosia blooms that are starting to show me these little bitty black seeds. You see those shiny black seeds? That's what I am looking for. And it is as simple as taking my basket, putting it underneath this bloom and using my fingers to scrape off the black seeds. And that is how I go about harvesting my celosia seeds. Here's some more down here. You can see them tucked in there. And the celosia seeds, they almost look like little black pebbles. They're so sweet and tiny and a little bit shiny as well. And you can see them tucked into different areas. So let me go ahead and show you what that looks like to harvest celosia seeds. Now that I got my celosia seeds um, in my basket, I'm going to gently lift out the paper towel out of my basket, move it aside, 
Next, I am going to lay out another paper towel and I'm going to lay my strainer um, on the top. You can use whatever strainer you want or not use a strainer at all. I just like to remove some of the little blossoms that are in there. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shake out my paper towel, make sure everything's out. I'm gonna give this just a little shake. I'm not gonna go crazy because I don't want seeds falling everywhere. And then a lot of my balloons are going to stay in. I might have one or two seeds left behind, but not bad at all. Move that aside. And here we go. Let me grab some of one. I told y'all not to shake it so hard. Oh my goodness. I don't want to come. All right. So I'm going to move some of these seeds over. Got them on my paper towel. Ah, they got away from me. All right. And then the last thing I'm gonna do with my seeds, now that I've got them in this paper towel, is I'm gonna gently fold them up, just like this. And I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna insert them into a little envelope. These are just thank you card envelopes. I'm gonna put this into my little envelope. I'm not gonna seal it, I'm just gonna tuck it in. All right, I've got my celosia seed, so now I'm going to put hot pink chief celosia, and I'm gonna put today's date, 2021. And there you go. I'm all set with my celosia seeds, they are harvested, ready to go for next year. I reason I put them in the paper towel, it is allows them, if there's any drying process that needs to continue, they are able to breathe in this paper towel, and now they are safe in this envelope. So we are good to go. So now I've got my zinnia seeds. So let me guys show you, let me show you guys the next step. I'm gonna remove them from my basket and get that out of the way. And remember, we chose blooms that are nice and dry, okay? So the idea behind that is we're taking this bloom right here and we're giving it just a little light tug and out comes a petal and at the end of the petal is a seed right there so we are good to go you can remove the seed from the petal if you want or you can leave the petal on the seed whichever kind of works best for you but that's how we go about removing the seeds so let me remove some of those more we'll do a couple more and show you guys give a little tug on the petal there's our seed right there all right and that's what i'm going to do i kind of get going a little bit more as i tug and I'll come in on a close-up shot for you guys on these so you guys can see what these seeds look like. Okay, at this point in time, if you want to, you can go back and you can take off the petal and just have the seeds. The petals don't really bother me, so I don't stress about whether or not they have petals on them or not. Um, it's just kind of basically up to you. These petals are dried and 
you know, so I'm not, I'm not stressed about that. But once I've got my seeds ready, I'm going to once again, fold them up in the paper towel. And as a reminder, I'm using the paper towel in case there happens to be any type of moisture left over in these seeds, this will wick it away and keep them from any kind of rot or anything like that. And then I'm gonna slip them in to a um, little miniature envelope. All I do is tuck it in. I don't typically seal it, but that's up to you. And then I'm gonna write the information on the outside. Purple Prince Zinnias, um, 824, 2021. And I like storing my seeds like this because it's easy to file them in a system like this. Remember, storing seeds, you can store seeds for years, two, three, four years. I've had some as old as four years that have still worked out. I do think that their germination goes down the older that they are, but these will be great for next year's crop of warm cut flower blooms. All right, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video on how to harvest celosia and zinnia seeds and how I go about storing them. Super easy, massive cost savings for you guys. As always, she's a mad gardener or a decorator or anything else that she wants to be. Thanks, y'all.